years, or even more than that, when we grew up together in Camden, South Carolina. And most importantly, I know Beth is someone who will stand up for what is right and stand against what is wrong in South Carolina's government today. And believe me, we have plenty wrong in South Carolina's government right now. The people running this state, the people running our state government have pushed it to the edge of corruption and dysfunction. The clique that has run it during the Haley and Sanford administrations have shamed us too many times and we need something and we need people who bring something new and fresh to state government. We desperately need new blood that's not afraid to stand up when high government, government officials violate their sacred trusts. We need new energy that's not afraid to speak up when they see that state government is broken and, not, and dysfunctional. We need new leaders who will take on the current powers that run this state and aren't running it very well. We need leaders who will be independent. We need leaders who will be brave. We need leaders who will be outspoken. We need legislators who support public education and don't want to bleed public dollars from our public schools. We need legislators who want to make our tax system fair, not just raise taxes on the middle class, but fix a dysfunctional tax system. We need legislators who will be independent, who will work with both parties to fix a state government that has a broken system, an antiquated tax code, and will work to protect the natural resources that I know Beth and I both value so much. I know that Beth Bernstein will be that type of leader and that's why I'm here today. I know that Beth has that type of character and that's why I'm proud to stand with her today. I know that Beth has just that independent streak that we need in South Carolina to actually get things done for a change. The type of leader that we need lead and the type of leader that I hope that this district will elect to join me in Columbia as we fight for better government, better ethics in our state system, and a government that truly works for the people. I'm very proud to be here to support Beth Bernstein and to give her to you. Beth, Thank good you, luck. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vincent. Let me just start off by saying I have permission from the property owners to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're fine. I'm not going to have any chance of being kicked off. But no, seriously, thank you, Vincent. You know, um, Vincent mentioned our friendship and relationship goes back 20 years. He grew up with my husband, Rip, from Camden, and I'm very so proud of what a statesman and leader he has become along the way. And I'm going to do my best to emulate the kind of selfless, hardworking, and ethical leadership we see in Vincent every day. And that is why Vincent won this district, my district, by an overwhelming margin in 2010. The values you see in Vincent, the honesty, the integrity, and independence, those are values that I share and the values of the people of South Carolina in this community share. He isn't doing it for a job. I'm not doing it for a job. We have jobs. He's doing it for his children. I'm doing it for my children. We're doing it for our future generations, for this community, and for this state because the state is in dire need of new leadership. And I'm excited to step up and provide that leadership. When elected, I will push for real ethics reform to clean up corruption and dysfunction in the State House. And I know ethics reform has been a hot topic, but since I've announced, when I was announced that I was running for this, I have always talked about needing real ethics reform. I will also protect our public schools and work tirelessly to improve them. As a small business owner, yes, I'm a small business owner. I'm someone who signs the front of a paycheck. I understand the private sector. I will work with both Democrats, Republicans, and independents to get our economy and state back on track. We're six days to victory, and I cannot tell you how much I've enjoyed meeting so many people, so many voters, 5,000 plus. And they share my sense of frustration, but they also share my sense of optimism. We can do better. We must do better. And in six days, our campaign for reform won't end. It's just going to move across the street. I'm thrilled and humbled that Vincent is here supporting my campaign. I hope I will emulate those 
qualities that he has. And I appreciate all of you who've been here throughout this endeavor. Thank you for coming out. Any questions? Senator, yes. your, uh, your opponent from two years ago, Governor Haley, she's been traveling the state endorsing Kansas campaigns in Kansas. Have you done, have you campaigned for anyone else? Is this your first uh, foray into this election? You know, I, I, I'm very uh, careful about going out and speaking for other people on behalf of other people. Uh, and I do that really on a very selective basis. Uh, but I have so much confidence in Beth that I wanted to come over and speak for her and let people know about the character that she has that I've known for all these years. So the answer is no, I haven't been traveling around the state. I've actually been working in Camden, earning a living, uh, and also trying to do my duties as a state senator. Uh, but I think it's so important, and this race is so important, and what's going on in South Carolina is so important. And to me, Beth's uh, abilities and characters are so important that I wanted to come and do it today. Thank you for the question. I know that, I know that you did win this district two years ago. Um, this has been a district that's kind of flip-flop back and forth in the past years between Democrats and Republicans. Do you think Beth has a realistic shot? Here? Absolutely. I know Beth's uh, work ethic. I know her character. I know uh, uh, her knowledge of this district. And I know the people of this district fairly well. You know, this is a neighbor, neighboring district to Kershaw County. Uh, I spent a lot of time over here as well, and I think she has a real shot at success. And I think that's not about her opponent. It's not about the, the state. It's not about what's going on. Uh, it's about her and what she brings to the table. The state needs her. Uh, government needs her. And she brings those characteristics to the table. I think she has a real, real great chance to win this election. Thank you. Anybody else? Great. Thank you all for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you. That's it. How are you? I'm really excited. What? I'm talking to you.